did you get an explanation or ask Draymond what happened in that final sequence? Uh, which one? Uh, when he threw up the shot, uh, was still about six seconds left. That little he, three pointer. He thought they were going to foul him, and that's why he he put it up to you know thinking he he would get three three free throws out of it. Was that a conversation at all coming out of the huddle that they might uh, do that strategy? No, no. We we knew we had uh, you know eight point seven on the clock, and so we we uh, and the Spurs generally do not foul uh, in those situations. Uh, it's probably my fault for not uh, uh, informing the team that the Spurs don't usually foul. Um, but we knew we had, uh, you know, 8.7 8. to um, to drive and kick to, to plenty of options uh, with that kind of time. And so we were just trying to spread the floor and, and get a good look. Uh, Steve Carlos Ramirez, NBC Bay Area and Telemundo. You said in the last game in Dallas that you thought they won the game instead of you guys losing it. Does tonight feel the other way around, especially with the turnovers? Well, I, I think uh, first you got to give them credit. I mean, DeJounte Murray hit an incredible three-point shot uh, uh, down the stretch, which uh, put us in a, in a tough spot. Um, but, yeah, 20 turnovers, um, that, that's what lost the game. You know, we uh, – we, I think we gave up 10 more field goal attempts than we were able to get ourselves. And uh, it's tough to win in that situation. So turnovers were killer. We rebounded well, and we did a lot of things well. Uh, but, um, yeah, the turnover, the turnover disparity was uh, the biggest difference in the game. Steve, I recognize I'm asking this question on a night where Steph Curry is your leading scorer again, but are the Spurs one of the teams that are, are better at defending Steph? Like for example, he only had seven shots at halftime. Was that a question of them putting the clamps on Steph, or was Steph trying to feed the hot hand with Oubre? No, I think, you know, first of all, Murray is a hell of a defender. He's an all-league all defender. Um, you know, he had eight steals tonight. Um, you know, they put him on him, so he makes it difficult. Um, for Steph to get free, and then they put uh, Derek White on Draymond to to you know, try to put a little pressure on on Draymond handling the ball as well. So they they changed up uh, the look a little bit um, from what we normally see. And I thought I thought they did a good job defensively. Uh, we still got a lot of good looks. Um, you know, we got got what we wanted when we took care of the ball. Uh, had a lot of open open shots, but. Uh, Again, the turnovers, particularly the unforced ones, are, are the killers. Is there a temptation to try to push it with Steph minute-wise uh, in some of these games? I mean, I think you guys were a plus three with him, but maybe like a minus eight tonight with them all. Right, three. right. Um, not for me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm into the, uh, the long game. You know, we're, uh, we're, we're counting on having Steph here for – a long time, many, many years ahead. And uh, I'm not interested in, in grinding uh, through this season, which is already a very difficult season given the, uh, the COVID regulations and uh, just the nature of the games themselves. Uh, you know, these eerie, empty stadiums. Uh, this is uh, for me, um, for our organization, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not throwing stuff out there for 40 minutes. Uh, to, to chase wins. We've got another game tomorrow. Uh, we, want, we want Steph to be playing at a high level for many years, so we're going to stay very disciplined and try to keep him at that 34, 35-minute uh, mark. Steve, to follow up on Steph, how do you make sure that he doesn't get too frustrated given uh, the, the games that he's putting together and the fact that uh, it's still coming up short some of these times? I don't need to do anything. Uh, Steph's a, a grown-up. He's an incredible teammate. He has full awareness of uh, you know what we're doing right now and what this season is about. Um, you know, bringing along young players and, and you know trying to be a playoff team and, and make a push. Um, trying to do all that at once. Um, Steph's all in, and uh, you know he never gets down. That's part of his brilliance. Is just his his overall attitude and approach and joy for the game and um so Steph's, Steph's not frustrated he's he's uh 
He doesn't like to lose. He's a big time competitor, but uh, yeah, he'll he'll hang in. Steve, what was the difference in the fourth quarter uh, versus you know the second and third quarters when he was having a hard time getting open? Well, I thought uh, you know he he really took it upon himself you know in the last six minutes to to get going. He sensed that uh, you know that we had to to have him, and uh, you know, he had a great first first half. I think he had 15 points. Um, third quarter was you know a little slow in terms of open looks, but uh, I give them credit for for playing really good defense against him. Uh, you probably saw we got a ton of wide open layups. Uh, during the third quarter, slips to the rim. So if they're going to send two people at Steph all the time, we'll take those layups uh, all night. Uh, but that's the trade-off. Steph may not get as many shots up himself. But like Kelly Oubre was the one who maybe benefited from that the most. How how much have you seen him get more comfortable these last few games? Yeah, Kelly looked good. He had a, he had a really good night. Um, you know, he's uh, obviously a very talented player. And... Uh, you know, there's been probably too much of a story about Kelly just because of the slow start that he got off to. But this is who he is. You know, there's a reason. You know, he's uh, a player that he is in this league. He's proven it over the years, and very talented guy, and he's doing a, doing a great job for us.